Hi, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'd like to share with you another set of card ideas using the Bone Appetite Paper Pumpkin Kit from September 2019. So here are the cards that I came up with. So this is the second set of cards that I've designed using this kit. If you haven't seen the first set, you should go look for that. It should just be um, pretty close to this video since I will be posting them pretty much back to back. So the kit makes these really cute treat boxes. So you can kind of see where I'm getting the supplies. So we're using the box pattern paper as well as the tags, separating the tag elements into their own elements and creating cards with those. Don't forget to sign up to get your own paper pumpkin kit. The next kit is the October kit and it's going to include 10 cards and envelopes and then November's kit will contain 24 tags with four different designs. And these will be winter, holiday, Christmas themed. So they'll be great for um, your upcoming celebration. You can find the link to sign up in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have one of each pattern from the treat boxes, and we're just gonna separate them at the seam. Oops, sorry about bumping that. Just a pair of scissors. Okay. Next, we're going to be trimming off the flaps and using a paper cutter or paper trimmer. And then let's just look at our cards really fast so we can know how to cut the rest. So this card is cut at five and a quarter. So we can just go ahead and do that with the stripes and get that ready for that card. Okay, so that one's done. This next one is cut at four inches. So let's cut that. And I separated this one so it can be on the top and bottom. So we're just gonna cut that in half. So that one's done. And then this one, I actually cut um, the polka dot one in half. So I have two two inch squares. Oops. Oh, it's cause it's a fold. My paper trimmer doesn't trim well when it's when the cardstock's been folded. So we're gonna use scissors to trim that. And then you're gonna trim that down to one inch strips. So one inch polka dot, so those are one inch by two inch. And there's four of those. And then we have the stripe one. We're just trimming off this extra flap and then trimming this as well to one inch by two inch strip. Okay, so those are the pieces we need for that other card, for this card. So these are the things we need from our kit. We have three vellum circles, three little skeletons. We don't need these tags. And one of the orange labels. So let's go ahead and assemble our card. So you're just gonna be centering this striped piece on the black stripe. And then this gets laid on top of your card front. Or I guess your card base and just leave like a quarter of an inch or so on the right and then an eighth of an inch on the top and bottom. Then we're going to use um, some glue dots. And we're gonna put some glue dots on the back of our skeletons. 
Okay, so once you've got your glue dots on the back of your skeletons, you're just going to stick each one on a piece of vellum. I love these little skeleton dudes. They are very cute. All right, so the next thing is we're going to add a dimensional to the back of each one. Make sure to put the dimensional in the space where the um, skeleton is so that we don't see the dimensional. Okay. And then we're just going to start layering. They just kind of sit vertically on top of each other. Okay. So there we go. We've got three cute little dancing skeletons. Now we need to just stamp our greeting. And for all the cards today, we're using just a basic black ink. And this card, I wanted to do just the Happy Halloween. And that does fit in here, just a very tight squeeze. And then before we um, attach this, I'm going to use just a pair of scissors and cut a little flag from the bottom of the black strip, or I guess from the sides, not the bottom. So the way I do it is just snip up in the middle to where you want the top of your flag to be, and then from corner to that top mark that you made. And then let's go ahead and add this. And that's just, it's not going to go right in the middle. I kind of have it a little bit on top. And then go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back. And then that goes right in here. And the last thing we're going to do is with about eight inches of white um, baker's twine, we're going to just tie a bow. Eight inches is a lot, but it's kind of nice because then you're not worried about it coming apart as you're trying to get all those loops figured out. Then trim off any extra and get a glue dot and you're just going to apply that at the bottom of your greeting, just kind of in that corner. There we go. So this card is done. All right, so let's go ahead and start on our second card. And this card has these cute little grouping of, of skeletons dancing. And so we're going to go ahead and stamp those. And they use both of the skeleton stamps that come in the kit with some black ink. Okay, since we still have our ink out, let's go ahead and stamp the greeting. And it's just Happy Halloween. 
and that goes on the little white strip. And let's go ahead and stamp the little eat if you dare on the little grave headstone. So that is a little tricky because that shape is like perfect for the stamps. So if it doesn't turn out perfect, that's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble. So the first thing I wanna do is place these polka dots behind my dancing skeletons. So I'm gonna do that by turning it over and applying some snail just to those edges. And then I'm just going to place it so that I can see two and a half rows of polka dots. And that's on both sides. So now I'm gonna put this on my card. And it's going above center so that I can use the bottom, decorate the bottom. Okay, so now I've got three different strips of colors. I've got a gorgeous grape, pumpkin pie, and a basic gray. And I'm just going to cut flags off, off each one and then kind of arrange them how I like them. All right, so this is kind of how I like those flags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these with some snail to each other. So let's we'll start with some gray and then some gorgeous gray. So the first one is the pumpkin. And I kind of like that one on top. And I like the gray a little bit lower. And then maybe, maybe I'll put this one up a little higher for this card. Okay. So now I'm going to add them to my card base. Oh, I need more adhesive. And then I'm just gonna turn these around and trim off the extra. Okay. So now I'm gonna add this little tag and let's go ahead and keep that in the right spot. So let's add some snail just to this little extra piece and just make sure that stays there because I don't want that popping out. And then I'm just gonna add more snail to the back and stick this on. So this one, I have it tucked under, but I'm gonna do this one over like this. And then we're gonna do Eat If You Dare and Happy Halloween. So let's go ahead and trim this one so they're even on both sides and then give it some flags. Okay, so let's do this one popped up with some dimensionals.
and then we'll just have this one. Let's have that one popped up too. Okay, so when all your dimensionals are gone, all you need to do is snip the edges and then you'll have more pieces. So there's no waste. And we'll just put that one at an angle like that. And then all we need to add is just a bow. So go ahead and get I mean, eight inches of tw um, baker's twine and tie a little bow. And a little glue dot and you can put it wherever you'd like. I think for this one, I'm gonna put it up here since I can see that little. There. there we go. So we've got a really fun dancing skeleton. Okay, so this one was my favorite out of the three. I really liked how the pattern repeats itself. So I'll show you how I did that. So I've got a piece of gray cardstock that is um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And so I'm just going to put these on top of that gray cardstock. So the first one just goes in the middle with a little bit of a, um, actually it's not in the middle, on the side with a little border. And then this striped one just goes right next to it with another polka dot and then we're going to do the same thing Okay, so then to kind of hide this seam, we are adding a piece, a strip of gorgeous grape. So that just goes in the middle. And then this goes on top of our card base. Right in the middle. And then we've got a, another tag. We can take this one out because we're going to tie a bow around it. And this just sits on top and we're going to use some um, dimensionals. That can just go right there on a little angle. And then we've got the spider web, which I'm just gonna roll some snail over. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that to the card. And just kind of rub any extra snail that's stuck there. And then we're also adding two little hands to this card. So one just over here on this side and one on this side. And then the last thing we're gonna do is stamp Happy Halloween. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp the greeting. that with some dimensionals. Just 
just right between the hand and the strip of gorgeous grape. And then we're going to go ahead and tie a bow. We need eight inches and string that through the tag. And then just kind of fuss with it a little bit until it's the size you want. And then trim the edges, or the tails, I mean. Okay. Great. So that card is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for more information about Paper Pumpkin and to start getting your monthly kit. Have a creative day. Bye.